well traders are not going to continue trading today I just made up my mind about that and that's mainly due to the fact that I'm doing uh, so well <laughs> you know you've got three green trades what would you expect next to take the fourth my average is uh, three winners two losers one losers one loser so <laughs> I feel like uh, mentally I feel like if I'm going to take the third the fourth trade I'm going to get a loser actually I get uh, I had more than three winning trades because I did add to BIAB and that went out fine so was Baba so I actually clicked the button five times today and uh, all went well and I'm happy to be up nine thousand dollars and that adds to a perfect week that I'm having so far with I believe I don't know over thirty thousand dollars something like that altogether maybe forty with this day so I do have a fantastic trading week another green day several winners I don't want to do anything wrong right now and I don't feel like I've got uh, the next trade which is like calling me to do something I just uh, gonna concentrate a bit about what happened today we've seen the market starting with a gap up today and then slightly coming down that's the S&P 500 and then moving higher now that's an interesting point what you're seeing here the market moved to a new high but left a topping tail if I'm going to move to five minute uh, candles you, you can see that more clearly actually I'll do that so you can see that uh, the market spiked over the high and then came down usually one of the strongest reversal signals in technical analysis is when the market's moving to a new high and failing of course I'm, 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 I'm not sure even now that I'm right and the market will pull back down from here but if you take a look at what happened yesterday the market did come down therefore what we're seeing today is like a 50% pullback of uh, anywhere in between yesterday's highs and yesterday's lows very big resistance here look at the market here at the point where it topped look at the resistance it got all the way back from yesterday's activity here so again I don't know I had a feeling I mentioned it earlier that the market will come down so far I'm right let's see what comes next but that did not uh, matter the fact that the market moved higher for a great trade in Boeing so what happened in Boeing today as you can see although the market moved up and gapped up and moved up today we've seen Boeing starting here and coming down mainly because of the airlines the airlines came down very strong and uh, they're still kind of coming down now that's why it's more likely for Boeing to come down I thought Boeing should come down today and that's why I was waiting for this move up a failure to move up and then shorted it here that was a great trade uh, and that put uh, over three thousand dollars in my account and of course it did not hold because it then moved over the highs what's coming next unknown uh, mainly has to do with uh, what the airlines going to continue doing and so far I think they're coming down and of course with what the market is going to do so far the market's trending higher but again as I mentioned I have the feeling it's going to come down so Boeing is likely to come down anyway that trade was a quick trade a very quick trade took just a few seconds and I was out second trade was in Baba which was much more technical much nicer I mean Baba is up five and a half percent right now Baba started with a very big gap up as you can see here so just waited for it to come down to reverse uh, posted it for a long what was that 245 right over here 245 so before it moves to a new high took a long you always do that you don't go for a long at the point where it breaks over the highs the point where stock is breaking over the highs at the point where everybody's going long and look at the result of course the result was great because everybody was going long because it's above because it's up five percent and because everybody's watching it that's the whole idea of technical analysis that a lot of people are watching the same thing happens and they are all instructed well to buy at that point but you are actually instructed even better than that your instruction based on mine and hopefully your following is to buy before it moves to a new high you need to have the advantage the advantage is buying before the advantage is buying at the point of 80 percent the advantage is buying at the point where you believe in 80 I mean that you, that you are right in like 80 percent of the time I mean that should be the point where you feel like you've got an 80 percent chance that the stock will move over the highs now let's get serious stock starting up five percent pulling back down moving all the way close to the highs wouldn't it go over the highs 245 I mean uh, over the highs would mean another what 
30 something, 40 cents. So Baba did it easily. And uh, we earned another 40 cents there on that move. So anyway, Baba did move up over the highs, spiked over, uh, behaved nicely, and then came another trade here at uh, 246. And uh, I know some of you mentioned to me that uh, they went long 246 because they thought technically that was the right point. Well, that definitely was the right point because you can see at the behavior of, of Baba here. Now, just remember, if you add to a trade like Baba, you just add very, very small size because you already have a winner. So I did add maybe quarter size. I'm not sure. I have to take a look later. Maybe quarter size of what I initially took in that trade. And anyway, the second trade went out fine. That was a good trade. My disappointing trade of the day would be BIIB. Although... I've got um, almost $2,000 winner in BIB, but um, well, BIB started up quite a bit. Strong is up very strong. I think it started 7 or 8% up. Anyway, it came down very, very strong and the market was moving higher. So when I saw the market moving higher and BIB under pressure, I thought BIB should move higher. I posted it in the trading room, something I don't usually do over 283 because I don't usually... I could call it Kochi falling knife. It is not. It's an intraday falling knife, but the stock is still up like 4% over here. So it's not really in the category of falling knives. You see, that's a stock that everybody loves. It gapped up 7%. It came down. You could think about going long. Extremely dangerous. And tell you what, it did not work out the way I expected it to work out. So it, it did manage to move up like uh, three and a half points, which is fine and that's why I'm green but I was expecting much more than this and my expectations were that the stock would actually move back to the highs or something like that you know when the stock is starting up seven percent you expect much much more uh, and um, so it did not work out and I did add over 285 here and that also worked out fine because I got, I got another point here on my added quantity that's why I've got a little bit more than I expected because I did take this trade being very, very cautious after two green trades with very small size, did not expect much. But the reason I added was because it had a beautiful technical formation here at 285. And yes, it worked out fine. But the rest is really disappointment. I, I moved out under 283, my last 100 shares, and I was really expecting it uh, to move up much higher. I think I managed it correctly by taking it at the right point, adding at the right point. But the result was not as I managed, as I thought it would be. And um, I just moved out. In my opinion, right now, if I'm right about market direction and look at uh, the S&P 500, probably I am right, then uh, BIB could be a good shot. Just that I feel like I've got uh, so many green trades today. I don't want to take another one and I don't want to short a stock that is up 5%. So I'll stay away. I'm very happy with my day. I feel like... Uh, I did my best, and um, hopefully you guys did too. Um, actually, let's see how how well how well you did. I mean, uh, Clifton, would you put up a poll? I wonder what are the results today. Well, I'm clicking myself very green, and I'm very very happy to see that uh, most of the traders here are in green territory, just over sixty percent. 65 or more okay good good trading session very happy to have uh, five trades all in green uh, three uh, three trades three different uh, symbols but uh, to two of them i added so that's five clicks five trades all green territory very happy to be in green and seems like most of our traders today are in green too um, well thank you very much for watching thank you for very much for being with us if you're on youtube and you like to give us a thumb up that would be highly appreciated and um, looking forward uh, to trading with you you'll find the link uh, below for joining our 14 day free trial in our trading room so you can be here right here with us trading with us we share our picks as you can see here each and every day uh, all of, our, of all of my picks are posted online and um, i'll be very very happy to trade with you thank you for watching and see you tomorrow thank you for watching our video before you go, we invite you to take Traders' free welcome course. It was designed to teach you the basics of Wall Street trading. Click here to sign up for this no-risk, no-cost offer. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.